I got a very special guest joining me talking about his show. It's all about quick sketches and really good guesses. I'm here talking about Pictionary with Jerry O'Connell. Man, how are you feeling? Randall, what an honor. Thanks for coming to my basement. We're having a lot of fun here at Pictionary. I'm, I love the basement. Is it? Is this set up new or is this how it's always been? You know, full disclosure, this is not my actual basement. My actual basement has a a serious vermin problem. Um, And uh, also there's a lot of uh, unwanted moisture down there. But um, uh, this is like uh, the set that's supposed to be like my basement. You know, know, game shows are like... Come on into my house and we'll play a game. So this is uh this is the set that they gave me and I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, a lot of people know this as a popular game, but to to have it come to life in this show, like what what's the most fun about that for you? You know, I, I I'd say the most fun for me is I have uh two 13 year old girls. I have 13 year old twin daughters, and we play Pictionary um with my parents. Uh and with my kids and it's it's like a multi-generational game and i'd say the most fun is um it's just the fun that we have doing it you know i mean if people are terrible artists it's really fun if people are great artists it's really fun if people are terrible guessers it's really fun if people are great guessers it's really fun um i I mean obviously the most fun game show on tv is one hosted by the great steve harvey and it involves families but i'm gonna go i'm gonna go out on a limb and say the second most fun game show on television is pictionary i love it i love it man and and if that's first then you know what you're in good company now viewers is, is this one of those where they can get involved and play with you guys you know what they can we actually have if you watch Mm-hmm. Pictionary every day, and I believe it's on five and five thirty on WNDY every weekday. Um, we have a QR code that you can play along. So you just like you know one of those QR codes. Uh, forgive me for being so old, but you scan it with your phone and it sends you to a website. So viewers can play along at home. Love it, love it, love it, man. Okay, now you've just wrapped up shooting the first full season. Are there some of those memorable moments that stick out to you? Um, We had a young lady who uh, was attempting to draw a pig, okay? Uh, Just a pig. And someone thought it was the state of Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And then the next team thought it was a space station. And it was a pig. And it was one of, I I don't think I've ever laughed so hard in my life. It was great. It was crazy. It was crazy. (laughs) It was crazy. I think people are going to have a lot of fun watching the show. And and for those who, who haven't either played Pictionary or watched what you guys have been able to put together, uh, what would you say to get them excited about what you guys have in store? You know, it's um, it's funny. I said to my boss after we did a few, the first few episodes, I said, um, why is this so much fun? Like, wh- why is this fun? Yeah. And my boss said, because everyone knows how to play Pictionary and everyone has a memory of Pictionary. Mm. And um, if you have any fun memories of Pictionary, I mean, we really, we really capture those moments in pretty much every episode. It's a really good time. I really encourage people to watch five and five thirty every weekday. W and D Y. We got that. That needs to be like the new intro. Andy Y. <laughs> <laughs> Love that man. I think. Wait, wait. Before we go, I think you might be the only one that can pull this off with me. I'm. I'm always trying to get Ray Bruni on camera, like in some way, shape, or Come form. Come on, Ray. You might be the only one that could convince him to poke his head in here. Ray, 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 Ray Bruni, get your get, get your, your head on camera there. Yeah. Full disclosure: I know Mr. Bruni because <laughs> I can't uh, this is a hundred uh-huh. years ago when I was. Uh, a single man. I'm married now, Mr. Bruni. I have children and everything. But when right. I was a single man, I dated uh, someone who worked under Mr. Bruni. Yeah. And uh, they said he was the best boss they ever had. The best. Somebody said you were the best boss they ever had. And and Jerry, uh, <laughs> and, and let, let's, 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 let's make sure that the money gets put where it needs to put. You know, he didn't have gray hair back then, though. He didn't Jerry, have gray hair didn't back have gray then. Hair. <laughs> 
You said back then. Oh, back then. He's great. He's, he's, he's all my guy. <laughs> Jerry, we appreciate you, he's man. A great guy. Amazing guy. Love it. Love Go it. Go Colts. It. Really looking forward to your Colts. Let's see what happens. Go Colts. My man, Come Jerry. On. My man, Jerry. Catch him on my ND TV 23, everybody. Pictionary. All right. Thank you, man. We appreciate you. Oh, man. Y'all got Ray on the television screen. I love it.